Hey, what is up everybody? Happy Wednesday, happy December 2nd. My name is Brendan. I'm coming at you live from Atlas Stationers in Chicago. We've got a great event happening right now for you. We are going to be doing a virtual takeover with Luxury Brands of America. I deeply apologize for running a little bit late. Uh, I had to sling a couple pens here and there. You know how it goes here in Chicago. But I hope you are all doing well. We're gonna let a few more people join and we'll jump right into it. Uh, I have joining us today what some of you may consider one of my best friends, one of my arch rivals. He's a Packers fan, I'm a Bears fan. So there's a lot of arguments with this guy, but it's all love. Bryce, I know you're in watching. I'll let you join here in one second. Uh, keep in mind, we are running a huge special on Benu, Waldman, Platinum, Colorverse, and Noodlers products today at checkout at atlasstationers.com. Use coupon TAKEOVER15 for an additional 15% off your entire order. So if you guys are all ready, let's jump right into it. Bryce, you better hold the smack talk till after hours, my man. Let's go. I'm bringing you on right now. What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining. Pen Friends UK, how you doing? <laughs> you know I gotta do the slide in, bro. Oh my god, dude! That dude, hat is look awesome. at this hat. This is the most. This is this is like what I think we would call like retro. Yeah, you know? that's pretty hip, bro. That's hip. That's like a, yeah, a new right? fashion trend. Right. Is that, like, is, that, is that a blanket that you just cut and made into a hat? No. Nope. Um. No, it's actually legitimately. It is like from a company, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, my parents had this in like in the nineties or something and I dude, found it and I'm sick. like, I'm wearing, I'm like, I'm wearing that. Yeah. I would uh, take that bad boy skiing or snowboarding. man. Oh dude. That's what I'm saying. Wind. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just flapping. Oh, uh, in the shade, figured, dude. In the I, shade. I figured, and the shades. I figured you would like it. You know, we got to go. Uh, big. Dude, that is classy. That is classy. <laughs> I wish I had my shades with me today. I, I failed you, Bryce. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah, we held off on the bear stuff. We <laughs> held off on the bear. Uh, or on the packer stuff, sorry. Yeah, you guys, Bryce and I were talking pre-show, and he was uh, ripping on the bears a little bit. So I had to tell him, <laughs> let's hold the slander, you know. We'll keep that to our uh, our link, ink, and drink up. You know, we're going to yes. do a winter one, aren't we, Bryce? Here we are, yep. yep. Cool, cool. So yep. uh, we'll yep. talk more about that near the end of the video. But Bryce, uh, without further ado, uh, you want to give a little introduction about yourself, who you are, uh, what your family <laughs> does, why yeah. you're wearing the world's greatest hat right now? Uh, yeah, well, so I'm wearing the world's greatest hat right now because, one, it's cold here in North Carolina and I'm bald, so that's one reason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, the national sales manager of the luxury brands. I've been here for three and a half years. Um, I'm the third generation uh, to work our company. My grandfather started the company, then uh, my parents took over, and now my brother and I both work here. And as well as my brother's wife. He just got married. She works here. Shout out, Catherine. Congratulations to them. Yeah, so, you know, we're a big family business, and um, we've been doing it for a while, and we've distributed in the past, you know, we've distributed Sailor, we've distributed Cuico, we've distributed... A bunch of other things. So, um, yeah, right now, right now we're the distributor for Noodlers Inc. We've been their longtime distributor as well as Platinum Pins. Mm -hmm. um, we also distribute Banu and Colorverse as well as Nebula Notebooks and as of recently, um, D. Charles Leather. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys are doing the the whole nine yards, man. That's impressive. yeah. We're trying to we're trying to encompass everything, you know. Yeah, broaden so. broaden the horizon. I like exactly. it, man. So pens yeah. to inks to stationery to leathered goods. You guys are yeah. doing it all. I love it. I what love we got to do? Yep. Cool, yep. Bryce. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining today. Uh, Anytime. Know, there's never a These question. Always fun. Yeah. Exactly. As I was say, there's never a question that uh, it won't be a fun time when we got you here on, on mm -hmm. live with us. So uh, I was telling the crowd, uh, you know, visit our website. We've got a really nice show special going. Uh, mm -hmm. But let's jump into it. You know, I wanted to, to showcase more so the newer products because yeah. uh, everyone who is aware of our previous takeover with you, we did three separate videos. They can go to right. YouTube and reference some. We've got three right. hours of just us acting like fools, talking to friends. <laughs> yeah. So that's all documented for, for the audience. Uh, oh, and also I forgot one thing. We, I'm sorry. I completely spaced out. We also distribute Waldman. 
Waldman, there you go. I've I got know, my assortment of Waldman here too. Yeah. Waldman's a, a really sick brand. So yeah. Uh, yeah. cool, man. Uh, so I think uh, I'm sorry, I don't have my agenda in front of us, so I'm, I'm kind of just going to improvise here. But the, the yeah. most talked about release recently has mm -hmm. been Bay New, the Bay New yeah. Euphoria. So these have been Dude. absolutely killing it right now. So you want to talk a little bit about the series? Yeah, so the new Euphorias, um, those came out not too long ago. Yeah, Brendan's got a lot of them there. Um, we're actually getting restocked here very, very soon. Um, so a lot of the popular colors like Bora Bora, Vodka on the Rocks, um, Ocean Breeze, all those are going to be back in stock soon. Um, but basically, basically, when we were uh, working with the new, well, yeah, <laughs> We basically were like, look, we gotta, we gotta go back to the new and all of its glory. And man, did they, did they deliver? Those pins are quintessential the new right there. And um, you know, a lot of people really wanted clips, and a lot of people really wanted to be able to post it. Um, and they delivered on that too. And it's a gorgeous pin. It's awesome. Yeah, this is for sure my favorite release that they've ever done. I'm not gonna lie, this is so yeah. nice. Yeah, and they come with number six Schmidt nib, so there's a nice beefy, big old nib on there, and you know, just like the whole pin, I think really, probably, you know, you could argue that the Briolette is probably their best pin that they've released, but in my opinion, it's those. Yeah, I think the the Briolette yeah. is more like a, a a signature pen, if you will. Like I yeah. think that that's kind of the pen model that introduced everybody to Bay New. You know, that's kind yes. of what got them wet in the U.S. market, or at least that's what exactly. we brought in first per se. You know, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that's what caught our eye um, yeah. to talk to them. And, um, yeah, you could consider that their flagship pin, but I think those are going to become their new, like, their new go-to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a, a really nice lady named Carol Gillette. wonder if she's affiliated to you, Bryce, huh? Uh, that's, saying, wait that's, till you see 2021. So are we expecting new releases or what, what's yeah. you referring to there? Yeah. So, you know, Banu every year has a 2021 New Year limited edition pin that comes out. Um, and that one is coming out very soon. Um, and we should be getting them shortly. And it's going to be in the Euphoria body style. But oh, it's, it's going to... It's going to be crispy, man. It's going to be crispy. Oh, dude. I love it. I love it. Bryce has decided <laughs> that it will for sure be crispy. You heard it it's here crispy. first. Yes. Very crispy. There's a, yes. there's a posting real quick for yeah for the ones who mm -hmm. kind of wanted to see that. Uh, Carol, I hope you're doing well. We miss you here, and uh, we hope you're, you're hanging tight out there. Hopefully things are all well. Yeah, Penny um, writes, it, it may or may not be wet, red and white, you know? <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny that. So. It could be any of the colors that are in existence. That yeah. That it down, right? <laughs> exactly, right. Exactly. Cool, cool. So yeah. uh, just to, to let all you who are listening, um, we're pretty low. Uh, we just submitted a reorder, so we are restocking ourselves at Atlas. Uh, as Bryce said, they're waiting on a few more mm -hmm. models to come back in. Uh, I think yeah. like said, Bora Bora, uh, Vodka on the Rocks. I wish I had one of those here Man. that was the first to sell out. That is one of the craziest pens. The Vodka on the Rocks is Yeah, do you crazy. have one there by chance? I don't I know. We are completely out, but let me get something pulled up for you. Okay. Yeah, I posted yeah. that photo uh, as like the intro photo for today's event. That one is crazy. Yeah, people. Okay, so look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Flip it around. Oh, oh dude. That's oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this thing. This thing is just, it's uh, this one right here, the white one. Yeah, that is nice, man. That one, you know, they, you know, Banu, they, when they throw in that opal looking flake stuff in there. Yeah. It's so it starts good. kind of refracting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is sharp. Uh, yeah. So Bryce, you were saying on the phone earlier that um, we're expecting that shipment from Russia in the next couple of weeks, correct? So that will be when the... Yeah. Re-up sometime around yeah. there just to give a broad. Yeah, I would say like you guys would probably have it in a couple weeks. I'm going to okay. say a couple weeks. I, I hope it's going to be sooner than that, but I'll say a couple weeks just, you know. Okay. Buffer. Yeah, we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to over underestimate. So uh, right. for those of you who are interested in that vodka on the rocks one, there's going to be a long list of people that want it. Just go to our website and you can actually, uh, there's a button to click that will email yes. you once it's available back here at Atlas. 
So yes. uh, whether it's two, three weeks, whatever it may be. Uh, yes, excellent sir. price. Uh, yeah, and these, man. Are, these are retailing, I think, at about 120, 130, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, uh, looks like, like 128. Yeah, or 118, 120, something like that. Yeah. Okay. One of the numbers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah one of those. <laughs> There's so um, many of them, you know? Yeah, exactly. But keep in mind, we're doing that discount today, you guys, today only. So um, really nice price. Okay. Yeah, Let's jump into yeah. some some platinums. Uh, Ernest, did you have anything you wanted to show from Benu? Uh, I'm not going to lie. We're pretty much sold out of every other model, and we, we made room for the Euphoria. So I've only got yeah. these, like six right here. These are so popular. Yeah, so we, we're we getting restocked on a lot of stuff. You know, the Grand Scepters we showed a lot of, and the Scepters yeah. we showed a lot of the last time. But, yeah, the Euphorias are kind of like are what's hot right now. Um, Absolutely. The, new. the You know, it was kind of like a really uh, – a really good way they did it because they released the scepters and the grand scepters, which have a lot of, you know, the new characteristics in them, but you know, you can't post it. It doesn't have a clip. And then when they released these, it was kind of like whether if you like the crazy body style along with the colors, get the scepter. If you like a little bit more subdued body style with the crazy colors, get the euphoria. So absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that scepter barrel was crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah crazy and it feels really good in hand like when you have it you know because it kind of tapers like right here into your hand and then it gets bigger sure on the, on the back end but you know again you can't post it so if you're a big poster but now you have the euphoria the big size pin you get the crazy awesome Prob colors, problem so. solved yeah. you know we're posting up here you know yeah exactly <laughs> uh we've got a couple questions real quick do new yeah. colors or lines ever get discontinued and uh, or mm. is it like a standard limited edition well, so the only things that they do limited editions so far are the New Year pins. Everything else is, you know, um, current. Um, sure. We we decided to not stock. Uh, we got we decided, you know, with the market in the United States that the tattoos and the set and the um, tesseras um, just didn't really jive with the United States market and their taste for Banu because obviously people like the Euphoria and that kind of look. So we don't carry those anymore. We, of course, if someone wants to order them, we can always get them. That's not a problem. But sure. um, no, they haven't discontinued any model that they've come out with so far. So sure. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. so the window of availability is still there. And uh, as Bryce was suggesting, yeah. uh, you know, each market is different. Each region in the world is different. And it's pretty obvious that here in the U.S., people really like more standard barrels that post yeah. and have a clip on the cap. It's just right. It's just the trend. It's just the normal here in the U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. Excellent, Bryce. Perfect, man. Well, yeah, thank dude. you. Thank you. Um, I really encourage you guys all to check this out. I think this would be the, the best they knew pen to get to kind of get into their brand and uh, yeah. experiment oh, yeah, for sure. to be prepared when they release newer items. So For sure. And they write incredibly, too. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you said uh, number super six, good writers, correct? Yeah, number six, Schmidt Nibs. But, man, they write so smooth. It's crazy. So, excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right, yeah. Bryce. Um, if you're all right, set, let's, let's move on to, to yeah. Platinum. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, my, my inventory is pretty low right now. That's why yeah. I'm getting you up before the show. Um, yeah, we, man. We have some uh, uh, celluloids here, some 3776s. And then uh, I've got two of the four new Procyons, which these have yeah. been killing it as well, man. My Dude. goodness. Yeah, so, I know. Um, so, so one thing I'm going to start, gonna start yeah, one thing I'm going to start with that a lot of people don't know. So a, long, a while ago in the Plazier line, they discontinued Nova Orange. But they brought back Nova Orange. So Nova Orange is back in stock. And it's oh, like nice. that awesome orange color from Platinum. It's in their Plazier body style. So that's pretty cool. We're pretty happy about that. I'm kind of a sucker for a good orange. And so those are back in, in stock right now. Good. And uh, so, yeah. So that's kind of yeah. cool. So orange pens are pretty rare. Like you never really see yeah. good orange pens out there. It's like an absurd thing to see nowadays. So, cool <laughs> yeah. i love it man i love it yeah so i only also have two of the four colors of the uh procyon um so the first one is just classic black yep like a satin black and uh what they did a little bit different with the procyon in the four new colors that they didn't do in the previous colors is that this whole top of the cap is now um you know chrome 
right here. Yeah. yeah. So before that was colored on top, and then and then the uh, the clip was the the polished steel part of it. But now they've kind of added a little bit more luxury to the top of it. And um, so yeah, the black one's really great. Um, the satin silver we are getting soon for whatever reason. There was just a delay on that product for whatever reason. Sure. Then there's the uh, champagne gold. Do you have that one? I do. I do. Let yeah. me get it out of the box. Yeah. I'm fighting with the box right now. Here, while while you do that, I'll show the rose gold. Sure. Here's the rose gold. He's uh he's hustling over there, guys. Yeah, so here's the rose gold. Oh, yeah, you got the rose gold. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, look at that. It's a gorgeous color. It's awesome. Perfect. Um, Someone's asking real quick, why are some Procyons on last call at Atlas? Uh, We're discontinuing those. I'm not too sure if Platinum is, but we have elected to discontinue those because we made room for the newer models. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's the only reason why we're electing to do that here. It's not – I don't think Platinum still has No. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, like some of the, the other colors, of course, if you guys want to get one from Atlas, you can always go in there, order it. They can always order one for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, and if we have it in stock, we'll ship it. If not, we'll order it. But, yeah, no, we're not discontinuing it. Um, but, you know, retail stores, they got to, you know, allocate space. And these are really hot right now. So, yeah, you know. uh, Bryce, we sold out of a few of these and already had to reorder. Uh, but yeah. that's a great point that you made. So as Bryce was suggesting, you know, as a retailer, it's it's very difficult to house every single pen model, every single nib yeah. size, and every single color for that pen model with that nib size. So occasionally mm-hmm. we have to make choices here in Chicago on, uh, you know, what are we able to house here? Uh, but as he suggested, any brands that Bryce represents, so Platinum, Be New, Waldman, Colorverse, Noodlers, if it's currently in the catalog, then it's available in the U.S., we can special order it. It's never an issue. Yeah. So, I, yeah, great always. point there, Yeah, Bryce. it might That's take a, a little – yeah, and it might take a little bit longer, you know, because we might be out of stock. And if you guys don't have it, it might take a little bit longer to get to you. But, yeah, you can always order it. So. Sure, sure, sure. And, of course, we always yeah. try to be as transparent. We'll let you know what our mm-hmm. estimated time is, whether it's already in the U.S. or we got to sure. afford it. Um, yeah, somebody, sure. real quick, uh, I can't really talk much about Pelicans. Uh, we do have the event tomorrow, so we can answer your Pelican questions tomorrow. Um, Bryce, let me do a close-up real quick on these. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, Bryce, I don't know if you saw my photo. I think you did, where I took a photo of these like two weeks ago. I just, yeah, I loved I it. I walk around Chicago and I just hold up the pens or I find a nice like background. It's sick. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Kimberly, are the preppy cartridge inks available in bottle form? Um, no. Um, but you can get a car- converter I've, I've been listening to that them. actually costs more than the preppy itself. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can put you can put any ink in the preppy that platinum makes. That whether it's carbon, whether it's you know uh, pigment blue, you can put any of those in there. But no, they don't make the preppy inks in bottle. So yeah, uh, yeah. Bryce, low key. I think in one of my samples, I put a, uh, a pla- yeah, I put a converter in the preppy. It was tight, bro. It was yeah. like a cool ten dollar setup. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest selling fountain pen in the world, people. Right there. They've sold over yeah. 10 million of those. 10 million, dude. That is insane. Yes. Here's some of the cartridges, by the way. Yep. Wow. 10 yep. milli. 10, 10 milli right there. Yep. Yeah, I hope to sell 10 million. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. 10 million platinum Azumos. That'd be yeah, cool. there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so um, if you guys look at our Instagram page, our photographer is doing a great, great job of um, taking all these Azumos, pictures of these Azumos. We're going to have more pictures up soon, but um, yeah, the, the Azumos are classic platinum. They're great. Exactly. So that's some, of the best, some of the best Rurushi and Makie work in the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bryce, as you know, I don't have any here. We're sold out, but I made them live for the event, so we yeah, can special perfect. order. Uh, do you by chance yeah. have any with you or near you at all? Um, 
Yeah, I think I can go. I can go get some. Um, sure. People in the warehouse, if you're watching this, can you bring me some Azuma? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So I love they, it, uh, man. Yeah. Right on call. So, That's the new way to communicate. Just via Instagram Live. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if um, yeah, we'll we'll get some up here. But yeah, the, uh, the I know the Orokamon and the Aurora. Those are kind of the two like pinnacle Azumos. Yeah. I think we're out of the Orokamon and our Aurora is at our is at our um, photographer. So yeah. Sure, sure. So yeah. basically, uh, which we'll talk about in a second, the Azumos, you can do tan, red, or green, um, yeah. depending on the stock. So uh, Bryce, while we're getting one up there for yeah. you, um, let's talk about the 3776. We'll kind of increase via price point because I know the Azumos yeah, sure. are a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, give me one second. The keys. Hold on one second, Bryce. Check the Lamy case. Bro. No, yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, we need to get the keys. I'm usually a hoarder of the keys, man. <laughs> one second. Order, order. Bryce, we're going on a road trip. All right, let's do a small tour of Atlas. Check this out. <laughs> Inks. Also, if you guys haven't been to Atlas's store, you got to go in. It's great. They they literally have anything you want. Any anything you could ever want. Yeah. Bryce, I'm thinking about opening a coffee shop in the back. Dude, do it. That would be great. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be oh, amazing. I'm, I'm yeah. checking to see uh -huh. if in my sweater. Yes, my delivery has arrived. Yeah, turn the camera. <laughs> no, they can't see you. They can't see you. Carol, if that's you, hello. They say hello. Hello, hello. hello. So, Kimberly, we do have, if Brian, you're still watching, us? Kimberly, check this out. We do have the little mixable ink, and here's like this pink one. Ooh. Comes in a cute little bottle. If you're watching that, a lot of the mixable inks, Kimberly, are like pretty close to the to the um, preppy inks, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so let me actually, we did have an Arokamon, which is kind of exciting. Oh, Kimberly there you has go. Them. Kimberly right. has them all. Right. I'm does. sorry to interrupt. The keys were in the Waldman case, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used them to get the pens out. I'm so dumb. <laughs> all right. All right. Sorry, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that tour. I, I got a nice little workout in. Uh, Bryce, what were you discussing? I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, no. That I was just showing Kimberly that um, most of the, most of the uh, mixable inks from Platinum are pretty close to the um, preppy ones. Oh, so, sure. So the Orokamon comes in this little pin kimono here here oh my goodness yeah so the Orokamon I think loosely translates to fish scales or scales or something like that so if you look closely you have you have the um you have gold flake right here and then you have gold leaf right there and then you have the abalone so you get three different kinds of maquillage work on one pin and each individual pin is signed by the artist at the bottom, right here. Yeah. It's amazing. So is it is it one? It, it can't be one artist doing every single model, correct? No, no. So it's actually quite interesting. So they have a bunch of different people doing it. I do think that one artist does do one pin from start to finish. Okay. Um, that's why they sign it individually. Yeah. Um, but no, they have multiple artists, and what's actually interesting. When they want to retire, um, they actually go and do the work at Nakaya because it's like the volume's less. There's not as good because they're high, you know, even higher end of pins. Um, sure. Then, then that's how they retire is, and then they go do the work at Nakaya. So wow, that's pretty cool, man. Kind of like cool. yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the time it takes to do something like that is for sure a long time. Yeah. I think start to finish, it takes about seven months to do that pin. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, so we're, we're looking, is that over a grand? What, what does that retail at? Yeah, that's 30, 3,800, I think. 38? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then here's this the classic green um, Azumo. That's just seven layers of Yurushi lacquer under a green, over a green ebonite body. That is so slick, man. Yeah. 
So that what's cool so about these slick. pins is that the more you leave them out, like in this, in, you know, in your office with the sun shining in or whatever, UV rays lighten Urushi lacquer. So the longer you have it, the more green will show. Oh, uh, so over time. Yeah, which is super cool. Wow. I've seen this one guy, literally, he had his uh, Platinum Azumo for so long, it was just green. <laughs> the Urushi lacquer old. doesn't go away, yeah. but it just lightens. It's wow. so cool. That's yeah. pretty sweet. So, I mean, you essentially have a different pen. Yeah, but, um, exactly. I, I, I like that a lot because I think that type of finish shows you the, the memories and the experiences you've had for that duration oh. on the pen. So yeah, for sure. That, that sounds like it takes years to do. So, clearly, that person's gotten X amount of years of service out of <laughs> yeah. that pen. That's cool. Yeah, man. exactly. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Oh, and then I probably should say one more thing. So, the Curados. Um, they're coming back, um, you know, due to, um, high popularity and COVID, um, the, you know, they've been trying to get their production back up. They have improved upon a couple things. So, you know, there's a rumor going out around that's pure it off 2.0. As far as we've been told, it's the exact same design. They've just improved things upon it and we should get them sometime this month. Oh, interesting. That's yeah. big. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, we're we're sold out of every single one of them. As obviously, I'm assuming the rest of uh, the we are US too. Is, it went <laughs> yeah. quickly. So uh, yeah, that's another item per se that you can go on our website and you just hit uh, email me to notify when it's available. The second we yep. put them in stock, you just you jump the line and you go for it. Uh, so that is a really really affordable retractable pen. I think like eighty dollars or something. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it really doesn't get much better than that. So uh, be yeah. on the lookout. Bryce, four or five colors, if I recall, right? Green, red, uh, gray, like black, clear. Yeah. Yep. Four. I think it's four uh, or five. Yeah, blue, green, gray, clear, and red. Yeah. Red. Okay, perfect. Yep. Perfect. So yep. excellent. Excellent. Uh, we'll definitely mm -hmm. be on the lookout for that. Uh, Bryce, let's move into the 3776s. Yeah, sure. So yeah, let me sure. give you my impression of these pens first. So when I okay. was first starting off, you ready? You ready, Bryce? This is this is I where was... the real talk is right here. <laughs> I don't even know starting, where you're going with them. Yeah, when I was first starting off with, with the pens um, and, you know, kind of mm -hmm. discovering platinum, you know, I was yeah. I was aware of the the uh, Procyons. I was aware of the uh, – I knew a little bit about the Yuzumos, nothing much, um, the mm -hmm. pens, obviously. But what stood out to me is kind of like the, the, the biggest pen of the brand. And maybe this yeah. is just my – interpretation of it my perception yes. but when i think of platinum i think of the 3776 like i think oh, that's yeah. like the most common model that people should really use to get into the brand For and, sure. uh, yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely it's, their it's, flagship yeah. okay so that's a common thought amongst most people yeah yeah it's like it's like when you think apple you think iphone Same yeah thing. exactly just exactly. not on a big as big of scale but yeah you know like that's definitely their flagship their flagship pin Sure. Um, a couple interesting things about the 3776. It has a slip and seal cap, which means the cap. Yeah, you'll be able to see that. Um, yeah, inside the cap, there's model. like a inside the cap. There's a there's a um, inner cap with a spring on the top that actually seals the nib off, and it will keep your pen from drying out for up to a year, um, which wow. is actually really really interesting. I've I the longest I've used or haven't used a pen that's been inked, was like eight months, uncapped it, wrote right away, it was great. Um, another thing that's interesting about the 3776, it actually has about 20% more gold in each nib than Sailor or Pilot. So the nib actually goes down farther into the pen, which gives you the writer more feedback as they write, which and then actually um, has been proven um, in, in a lot of cases to uh, improve your handwriting because you can feel the paper more, you can feel where the nib is. So that's another important thing that people, um, a lot of people don't realize about Platinum. Last thing about Platinum 3776 nib is it is an 18-step quality assurance process that lasts two days to make one nib. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah, so it takes, um, or it's like two and a half days to make one nib and there is 18 steps and to make one single nib. So, and they're all made in-house in Tokyo, Japan. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm showing a, a special one. This is the music nib. For those of you yeah, who don't so know, that's, that's their, 
three-time music nib. Um, I believe and the last time I checked, Platinum is still the only company in the world that makes a gold three-time music nib. There's a lot of companies out there that make a steel three-time music nib, but um, unless things have changed, uh, Platinum is the only one that makes a gold three-time music nib. So That's crazy. So, yeah. so what are we looking at right here, man? So I've got, I've got a couple different models here, including mm -hmm. the celluloids, yeah. the, the North American exclusive that you guys did. Yeah. The, uh, this pink one, I forgot what the series is like. The nice uh, that's the Lilas. Right? Yeah. The niece. Yep. The niece. Uh, niece there you fresh. go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what, what is the, the general idea of these? I mean, 3776, isn't that the, like the elevation of Mount Fuji? Isn't that how they got the name? Yes. Yes. That is the elevation of Mount Fuji in meters. In meters, wow. Yeah, and wow. also uh, get get one of those nibs again. Sure. So you'll see on the nib, if you look closely, you'll see um, those lines that kind of then squiggle in the middle and then go back down. That's Mount Fuji. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, right there. Yep. Yep. So that's that's their that's their homage to Mount Fuji on the nib. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you mm -hmm. learn something new every day. I wasn't yeah. sure what time my lesson was going to come in, but it just happened. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that, Bryce. Good stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to kind of uh, go through these real quick. And if you just yeah, want to sure. say a, a piece or two about them, because I know they're all the same model, like 3776, but we've got a yeah. few different finishes, different things going on. Yeah, so that's the Nice Lilas. It's uh, pink and rose gold, obviously. And um, it's a sandblasted finish. So you kind of get a nice um, kind of matte finish. It gives it's a lot of texture. Um, and, you know, it's not like gritty like sand texture, but it gives you like a good grip on the pin. And it comes with a rose gold, 14 karat gold nib, which is, um, which is pretty cool. So everything matches. Yeah. yeah that there's, also, there's also the Levand, which is exactly like that pin, just purple and rose gold. So. I like it. It's it's a little yeah. different. You know, it's just slightly different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then you have the white one, which I still do not know how to say the name of. <laughs> it's some <laughs> French name. I don't know. Is um, this like the, the Chateau one or something? Yeah. The, yeah. The chicken. Yeah. I don't even know. But yeah, it's just like long white, um, you know, name in it, French. It, it's very like. Is, I'm not even going to try to butcher it. Yeah, this one just reminds me of just like a very simple classic pen. You know, each brand mm -hmm, kind of mm -hmm. has something like this, whether it's white or black. And it, yep. what this kind of shows is just, you know, you don't have to go for a finish that's a little more outgoing. You can stay right. conservative and still get a nice just executive style piece just like yeah. this. Yeah. And when they came out with the white ones, they also came out with a dark green and gold trim. Uh, 3776 as well. Sure. There you go. There you go. Uh, mm -hmm. Clarissa put the actual spelling. I still yeah. don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know how to say that, but that's it. That, right that's there. it right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And then moving yep. into the celluloid. So I've yeah, got a man. couple right here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find the Koi. Uh, I think we have a Koi yeah. here as well. But Yeah, there's... I actually just sold. I just sent you the last Koi that we have. So. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah, well, right. I definitely yeah. got to get it out because that's like the most popular one. So mm -hmm. what's the deal with the celluloid? So celluloid, if you don't know what celluloid is, celluloid is basically the world's oldest plastic. Um, and uh, so platinum has a bunch of different um, uh, designs in the, the celluloid. You have the blue ocean, which uh, Brendan just had there, and the, um, and the cherry blossom. The cherry blossom is actually a really, really cool... Um, uh, uh, finish on that. It kind of almost looks like lizard skin, almost. It's yeah, I call it crazy. the pink lizard. <laughs> yeah, the pink, yeah. So, and then you have that, you have the calico and the tortoise. The calico is a lighter version of the tortoise. The tortoise is that classic tortoise shell color. And yeah. then you have jade. Jade's amazing. Jade is like that marbled green with gold trim. It's gorgeous. And then yeah. they have, uh, we don't have any in stock right now, but they have the caracusa. Um, which, let me see if I can get this pulled up. Yeah, I've got a but, few more celluloids that came in that I'm going to get out to show everybody the lineup. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll show, like a close up on the, uh, I'll show a close-up on the cherry blossom, too. That one's super crispy. Yeah. So, okay. So, here's the Caracusa. So, this is hand engraved. That's the Blue Ocean Celluloid. Whoa. That's still Blue Ocean Celluloid. 
but it's hand engraved and they put they put um uh silver powder in the engraving and then urushi lacquer over it that's insane that that is a hot hot pin right there wow Mm -hmm. yeah, someone, oh, someone just mentioned uh, they love the celluloid, but they don't like seeing the crease. I don't really know what that means. I, I don't. Uh, what are you referring yeah, to? So if you look at the, maybe I can find a picture of the koi because I don't have a. I've got koi. one right here. So. Yeah. So if you look, you'll be able to see, like, if you keep twisting, 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 you'll be able to see kind of where they fold the. Um, the pla the the celluloid in on each other it's yeah. very subtle um on i will say on more on some pins it's more obvious than others um yeah i but, i did not notice anything on this one but you know some people yeah. really like to to scope up on these so mm -hmm. that's crazy i like how refractive yeah. the material is so it feels a lot like it's a lot smoother if you will yeah than, than other pen materials and yeah it's like a thicker it, it's thicker too yeah yeah if i recall mm -hmm. uh it's pretty flammable isn't it yeah so actually um they changed their uh celluloid manufacturer not too long ago um to one that uh they basically told us is a little bit more environmentally responsible because um before i mean celluloid is really dangerous to work with yeah um it's, to it's toxic so when you heat it up it is toxic um and uh yeah it, it can it be burns. it can be pretty hazardous yeah it is explosive yes it is <laughs> so. all right bryce i got i got four of the five here i don't have the tortoise but yeah look at this yeah there's a jade we're trying to convince platinum i'm not sure if it's going to work but the the same so they came out with a tortoise shell chinkin like they did for this pin right here they came yeah. out with a tortoise shell of that one i'm trying to get them to do the same thing but on the jade with gold in the engraving wow that'd be sick wow they better engrave your name on it <laughs> yeah. you should you yeah should i don't think they're gonna a, do that you should send them a photocopy of your signature <laughs> Pretty cool. I will. I, I, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Let, me, let me just show uh, the setup again. This is one of my favorite series, honestly. It's mm -hmm. just it, the, the feel of them, the look of them. It, it's just uh, coming from a guy who sees a lot of pens. You know, I see quite a few pens uh, mm -hmm. during my time. But I just look how sharp those are. I mean, the camera's even, like, picking it up. Like, it, it's so clean. It's crisp. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Awesome, Sorry, yeah, I was reading this. Uh, ask if they do an Azumo with Chinkin. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if they can engrave on the body of a Azumo because it's ebonite. I'm not sure how that works. I'm sure they can do it. Um, but I will let you know. There is, I will say, there is... Uh, we had an idea that we gave to Platinum about a year and a half, two years ago, about an Izumo, and we have just gotten confirmation that they are going to do it. So that's super exciting. Stay in tune for that because it's going to, it's in my opinion, it is going to be the best selling Izumo they've ever been. So, and is that 2021? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, okay. dude. Yep. yep. Nice. You guys, you guys so. are putting in that work. Dude, we're trying, you know, we're trying, you know, we, we, it's, it's a lot of talking to people at shows, talking to people on here, talking to you guys. And, yeah. you know, I mean, we're like, look, this is what the people want. And this particular model that we want to, um, that, you know, that we want them to make as an Azumo, um, you know, we're like, we could sell 50 of them like that. Like, no problem. Exactly. So yeah, the we, forecast. Yeah, the 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 uh, it's it's gonna be awesome. So I can't wait to see it. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, hey man, I'll be on the lookout. You know, my birthday's in January, but I'll extend a uh, an opportunity for you to gift me one all throughout the year. All right. All right, man. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> all right, cool, man. Cool. So so let's move in. Um, yeah. Let's move on to uh, two more platinums real quick before we jump into Waldman, and then we'll, yeah, we'll do sure. some inks. Uh, mm -hmm. Or we'll do Nebula, Nebula Notebook. Yeah, let's do Nebula. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do those mm -hmm. before the inks. Um, so I have a couple of these left. Um, these are your exclusive that you guys yes. did. 
for the, the North American region. And this is mm -hmm. the red carnelian. I think this was last year, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So what's cool about that piece. pin, um, actually, Carol, our COO, came up with a name for that pin. Um, and it's a red body with slight silver shimmer in the resin of the body. It's, uh, it's great. It's really, really hard to get. Our photographer, shout out uh garrett if you're watching this has gotten pictures to where he actually shows up but man it is like hard there you go yeah look at that yeah you can kind of see the shimmer in there yep bryce i discovered these track lights right here like two days ago or whenever last week and i realized like, like you get to really see the actual design yeah because it's not so direct of light either you know it's not like a beam of light that like you know refracts off the body and you can't see anything Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So, so wait a minute. So, are you science? Like, <laughs> hey, that's like technology. Don't know how it works, but it works, man. Makes my life easier, so I'm with it. <laughs> Same. It's like how they made this hat. I'm not sure how they did it, but you know, it looks tight. That's really all that matters. The <laughs> final outcome, man. It's not about anyway, the journey. So Just joking. About it is about the journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. What were you about to say? So are you guys, are, you're not making any more of these, is, is that correct? So this is once the stock's gone, they're gone? Or are you guys doing No, they, no, no, they're still, they're still, we're still making that. We have something coming up that I, I can't really get into, but there is going to be, uh, I'm trying to, I'm going over like a Venn diagram from an email I got of what I can <laughs> and cannot say. Basically, basically, um, there will be another exclusive. Um. Yeah. 20, so there's going to be another exclusive. Twenty twenty one or no? Twenty twenty one. There's going to be another Dang. exclusive, but that one won't go away. Okay. That makes sense. So yeah. that would be like a regular edition, if you will. I heard. I believe so. As of what they told us, you know, not too long ago. Yeah, that's what they're. Okay. That's what they're thinking. Okay. So, so with yeah. least amount of information possible, there's a new pack <laughs> out a certain color from a certain brand. Hopefully yeah. Next year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Certain pin, certain color, certain brand. Next year. I got it. Yeah. I got yeah. it. Excellent, Bryce. All right. Yeah. So the last yeah, one is. I've got is the Shiyun. So this blew up the market again, man. This was another Huge. crazy release. Uh, yeah. You know, I had to call you, hassle you to get more from Japan. You, you we shipped us more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, this was ridiculous. This amount, I mean, I know you sent us like 10 more and we're down to yeah. our last few. This is like mm -hmm. the coolest pen out there. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this series. This is the third or the fourth one of this series. Oh, which one is it? Third or fourth? I so think it's the the Kung yeah, it's the third. It's the third. The, the Kung Roka. Fu, the Roka. Yep, and then the Shiun. So um, it's actually really interesting what Platinum did. So starting with the Kumpu, they got designers from different industries. So the Kumpu, I believe, was designed by a uh, clothing designer. Um, the Roka was designed by a jewelry designer and then the Shiyun, I'm not sure who designed that one, but they, they basically took designers from that were not pin people at all. And were like, we need to get a, a limited edition pin that, you know, incorporates for the Kumpu, the wind going through the trees, the Roka, the ice, the Shiyun, um, was, I think was also like ice based, but anyway, and, um, uh, yeah, they, they've done an incredible job. The facets on that pin and the way it reflects light. I mean, you can just see the way he's holding it right now. I mean, the light's just popping off that thing. So That's yeah. ridiculous, dude. Yeah. Bryce, get them to do Yurushi, Minori, Tominori, and be interested in their response. All right. I'll email. I'll see what they say. Uh, so, dude, so I'm Platinum. Oh, go I would ahead. Say go platinum, ahead. I would say Platinum, and I would say – in general with Japanese com com uh, companies in general. Uh, oh yeah, Purple Clouds, that's what it was, thank you. Um, Japanese companies in general, you know, if you think of Toyota and Honda, um, they're not like Mercedes Benz that is like on the cutting edge of like, you know, what's coming out in cars. They do like what's tried and true for years and years and years. And then they'll, they'll figure out, you know, okay, now it's time to release this. We've figured it out. Our quality is good, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. it does take time, you know, and that's the thing that we've learned over the years is that if we try to say, Hey, we want this pin in three months, it's not going to happen. Uh, we've, we've had a lot of success with dealing with platinum and, you know, suggesting new pins to them by saying next year, 
You know, like I remember the, the Azumo that's coming out in 2021. I mentioned to them January 15th of this year. So it's going to be basically a year and a half before it comes into fruition. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you know. They're long. Yeah, they don't like breaking tradition at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, it just goes to show, I mean, there, there's a whole process of the drawing out the idea, uh, determining what materials, obviously, which pen yeah. model. It, it's mm -hmm. just, it's crazy, man. And, uh, yeah. you know, yep. I, I, I think sometimes we get impatient with pen brands, uh, you know, and mm -hmm. like releasing new pens or there's a, an ETA date of this, but then it gets delayed. What I don't yeah. think people realize is that sometimes the pens won't leave the factory until the company thinks it's a hundred percent correct. So that's oh, a for good sure. thing per yeah. se. Sometimes delays are mm -hmm. not bad. It's, it's in regards to, they don't want to release anything that's not up to their standards because if they right. do, then they don't right. want it to represent their brand. So I, I think it's cool, man. Honestly, I would be down. If you said there's a pen coming out in 2025, I'd think about that baby every single day and I'd be waiting for it. Yeah. Basically. Well, it was kind of, yeah, honestly, it was kind of like the Curados. I saw the Curados for the first time, a working prototype of the Curados in December of 2017. Yeah. Wow. That's a while ago. Um, so the, it was a while ago. And then, you know, um, you know, and then COVID hit and stuff like that. And so mm -hmm. they kind of took the opportunity to go back to the drawing board and figure some things out, you know, just like Japanese do. And they're like, we're not releasing until, until it's ready. So it's and perfect. So, yep. Yeah. Excellent. That's cool, man. That's so, cool. yeah, man. Yeah. So I think that, that does it with Platinum. Uh, if, if any of you want to so, see yeah. any more pens from uh, Bay New or Platinum, um, Bryce, we'll touch up on Waldman real quickly. I know we already sure. discussed a lot of the new product over yeah, the summer. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Real quick though, Bryce, I forgot to tell you, I don't know if you saw on our post that we were bringing you on live, somebody mm -hmm. commented, just Derek Jeter. <laughs> <laughs> that's Derek Jeter. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's man, funny, that's what man. I'm going to be known as now. Dude, Derek Jeter. Th that's a big compliment. I'm not going to lie. It is. You know, that's I, a Hall of so, Fame compliment. <laughs> I've had people ask if I was Jason Statham. I've had people ask about Derek Jeter. Which like I went to, uh, like Halloween last not this year but last year I was I was um I was Jason Statham for Halloween I did like the turtleneck and like the whole <laughs> you know the whole vibe I mean, so I mean dude that's like the the best compliments you could get so I don't know honestly gonna... what people are gonna think of me after this but you know <laughs> yeah hey listen man it's classy it's snazzy it's crispy it's tight whatever you want to call it any type of bilingo that's what that is. And uh, maybe we yeah, can start a now. maybe we can start a craft business and start making hats like that ourselves. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> I saw it. I'm like, man, is this from like the early '90s? I'm wearing this. This is amazing. I like it. I like it. Yeah, uh, cool, man. Let's yeah, so... brush up on on Waldman real quick. I don't really have too yeah, many so... models, uh, but just a quick overview yeah. about the brand, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. So Waldman uh, started in 1918. Most of their pins are solid sterling silver or have silver. 925 sterling silver in them um they come with a 10-year warranty um waldman actually so years ago the german government actually decided that they got rid of um lifetime warranty so technically legally they're only allowed to say they have a 10-year warranty they have warranty to pin up to 25 years old before that they you know i mean i've even had a guy who just bought a pin leaned um you know he dropped it it hit, I can't remember what it hit. It hit something really hard and really sharp because he dropped it from a long way. It bent and Waldman still, even though it was his fault that he dropped it, they still sent him a new pin. Wow. So, that's that's yep. a great company right there because a lot of times companies will only, uh, you know, use the warranty if it's a manufacturer's defect. So the fact that they did that is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and uh, a lot of them, so the price point, I would say the average price point, it's probably the 250 to 500 range. They do have some models that are cheaper than that. Um, they do have a, a lot of models that are more expensive than that. They actually just came out with the Waldman um, Zetra Vienna uh, Diamond Lady. Oh, and I, think I have one that here, actually, Bryce. Do you? I think I do. Yeah, this is a slick pen. 
Yeah, so they came out. So the they had a white a white version of the Zetra Vienna, and then they decided that they were going to come out with the um, diamond version of it. So I don't have the diamond one. Holy cow! That yes, is incredible. Yeah, isn't that amazing? So and then it also comes without diamonds as well. Uh, wait, I'll go back to this one. Yeah. So it comes without diamonds, which is the one uh, he's holding. And so that's hand engraved. They call that Vienna Vienna hand engraving. That's just a technique that it's uh, that they use to engrave that pin. And um, yeah, it's, it's rose gold underneath. And they, they hand chink, kind of like the platinum chinkin, honestly. They hand chink that lacquer away to show the rose gold underneath. Yeah, that is incredible. This is not yeah. on our website yet, but if you want it, just shoot us a message. We'll get you taken care of. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, cool. And, you know, if anybody wants the diamond lady, we'll drop ship it for them, too. So. Hey, you know, it's holiday yeah. season. I know my lady likes diamonds, so she'd expect nothing less from me, you know. All right. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, so that's nice. Awesome. Man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and you know, Waldman, Waldman's some of the nicest writing instruments. Um, you know, we don't have anything new new from them right now. We got some things planned for 2021, but um, yeah, they're just, they're amazing things. Good, good. Um, yeah. Frank's perfect. Uh, yeah, sorry, we're, we're crunching on time. We have about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, so, I noticed that, yeah. So let's let's talk about the, the new Nebula oh, notebooks. Uh, you know, you let's sent us it. a few samples and we absolutely loved it. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, they... They have, so um, it's a sister company of Colorverse. Uh, they're not, you know, they, they're technically a different company than Colorverse, um, but uh, they're kind of are two companies under the same blanket. So what they did is that they came out with notebooks in plain, plain, right, ruled. And they also came out with a planner. Now, the planner is actually really awesome because, um, you know, you have your day, month, year, kind of, um, you know, here's the month, and then here's your daily. Oh, right? so it's a daily right, which is Yeah, which is really, really nice. But then there's a section back here um, that's completely blank, and they provide these ink swatch sheets, and then I have one behind here as well, you can kind of see that wow. allow you to kind of use your ink and put it in there and then write out what the ink name is. Yeah. So this is really a planner for fountain pen ink people. So you and, can you know, catalog because, it. You can like archive your ink. Right. All the inks. Yeah. And, and it's in a, like a really nice, it's in a really nice format. So, you know, you know, if you have a hard time, especially with blank pages, kind of going in straight lines, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Wow. Each notebook comes with a black and a white page marker, which you can also use to keep the the guide attached to the page. Yeah. So you know where which you left nice. off or what day you're on, what month. Yeah. And also, you know, you know, you don't have to worry about holding that guide behind the page because they're loose. So you just put it behind the page. If you just use this little magnet and clip it, it's not going to go anywhere. Wow. Which well, is what, nice. what does something like that cost? What, what's, what's the price of that? So the planners are, I believe, uh, 25. That's it? And the, the, yeah, and the notebooks, I believe, are 2250, I think, around that. Okay. Is the planner yeah. undated or is it dated for 2021? It is dated for 2021. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's a yearly yes. thing then? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, here's your, and it's called the Ink Journal. Nebula nice. Weekly Planner with the Ink Journal. And then, of course, you have – I forgot to show you the yearly right here in the front. So. Yeah, so it's, it's the entire setup. So uh, yeah. that uses – it's a Japanese stationery, isn't it? Well, so actually, it's really interesting because they did before have um, Tomo River paper, and then they uh, came out with a different Nebula notebook with Japanese paper. They actually have custom made this paper to be fountain pen ink proof is what they say. Oh, so let me that's give you that's a new term. Fountain pen. Proof. Yeah. So here's some writing right here, and then the back side, nothing. There's no. There's you know maybe like a little ghosting, obviously, 
Yeah, but there's no through or anything. No bleeding. There's no bleeding. There's no feathering. Uh, let me show you this really quick. You know, there's no feathering on here. Wow. At all. There's no bleed through on the back. I mean, was it's that, like, was that diary entry about how the uh, the bears are disappointing this year? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's here again. You know, there's writing on this back page. Wow. And it's 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 non coded. So it actually it's probably the closest thing to it paper wise is Electrum. Um, sure. But I actually think this performs way better than Electrum, honestly. Sure. Uh, you, you know, because they throw in these ink swatch sheets, yeah, they they have made it so that the ink you when you swatch it, it's not going to bleed through on the other side. It's a full activity. It's a, it's an organization tool. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Cool, man. So, like I said, it comes ruled plain. It comes in a variety of different colors. I don't think I have tea gray up here, but it comes in this lavender blue, which is like kind of purpley. Comes in cozy yellow. Comes in ruby red, which is really nice. Yeah, so, or, so that's that's coming soon. I just want to make that clear. We yeah. don't have those yet, but we yeah. are for sure getting them. So. Yeah, so the pink orchid right here. And then you got the black and white, of course. And then there's another one that's called tea gray, which is like really, really nice. It's kind of like this grayish green color that I don't have here. Uh, that one's really popular, but... Cool. Really nice, so. Well, good stuff. Yeah. Hey, man, really appreciate yeah, man. that. And I, I'm excited to, you know, hopefully get those in soon. And yeah, uh, dude. Let, let Chicago have their fun with it. So yeah, for sure. Anyway, dude. Uh, Bryce, like three minutes, uh, you know, I'm three sorry, minutes. I wanted to talk a little bit more no. about D Charles. So maybe yes. we'll do another video. Uh, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it really fun. quick. Yeah. What do we've got with D Charles? I know this is a so D Charles video. really quick, everybody. We only have a little bit, so I'm going to talk really fast. So you got single pin sleeves. You got double pin sleeves, you have notebook holders, and the most popular thing are these pin wipe cases. So these pin wipe cases, if you carry around a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, paper towels, you don't have to carry around that, you use this. It sure, it's like a blotter. Exactly, Blotting exactly. Page. All of them have different inserts on the inside of different material. Wow. You know, of different colors. There's, uh, where's this one? This one's my favorite. This one's camo. Almost couldn't uh, see that for a second. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and then, um, you know, a lot of them have different stitches. So black and red. You got, you got this olive and light blue. This olive and light blue is hot. This is like my favorite combo. It's like a dark olive and a light blue stitching. It's amazing. Here's like a saddle tan with purple. Wow. But yeah, they comes in a bunch of different stuff. It's saddle leather. It smells great. It's super high quality. And they're going to come out with a few more designs of different things. But yeah, single pin sleeves, double pin sleeves, notebook cases, and the notebook pin wipe. That's going to be a hot item. That's for sure yeah. going to be a hot item. Cool, man. So yeah, yeah that's, dude. that's hopefully coming soon to Atlas. Uh, Bryce, thank you for showing Smells good, that. too. Uh, real quick, Anytime. I'm going to show – oh, you have more? More D. Charles? Or is that no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no, you're good. So, yeah. Bryce, the time passes way too quickly, so I'm very sorry right. for, for cutting this. But uh, No, you're good. Real quick, um, I want to make it clear that Bryce and I are planning on hosting a holiday uh, link, ink, and drink up. For those of you who attended our previous ones, we did our first one yes, a few gosh. months ago. We did a Halloween special one. Uh, in October, and now we're going to do a holiday one. Bryce, we agreed ugly sweater. Ugly, ugly sweater. sweater. Party. Okay, so we'll host an ugly sweater party uh, on Zoom. Uh, we'll figure out a good date. That way we all can just, uh, you know, link up again, have a couple of drinks, talk pens, crack some jokes, uh, and just have Let's a good it. time all around. Uh, Bryce, real That's quick. what we're all about. Exactly. Yeah, you better wear that hat. So I might I'm going to, actually. I don't think I'm going to take it off, honestly. <laughs> I would sleep in that. I would go to the store in that. I would wear it everywhere. Uh, Bryce, oh, real quick. So a lot of people know the deal with Color versus Noodlers. You know, yeah. the ink is spectacular. I'm just going to do a quick showing of them. It's the new yep. Project Series. Yeah, new Project Series is hot. So uh, we're pretty low on Noodlers, but we just submitted a nice order for you all. Yep. So we'll be restocking. We just got a crap ton of it, too. Today. good so, good good it's coming uh, bryce i'm sorry that's gonna have to, to be the end no you're good dude so keep in mind you guys you go to atlasstationers.com we're offering an additional 15 percent off on platinum the new waldman colorverse noodlers uh if you see something in the video 
that you liked. Make sure you hit us up. We'll order it for you from Bryce and his wonderful hat and his wonderful family. Uh, but Bryce, thank you so much for joining. As yeah, always, dude. it's a great time. I, I wish we had more time. Uh, I know you and I will plan to do more content. I know we, we somewhat talked about doing a, a music video. That'd be pretty tight. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to my buddy who's like a music producer from my previous life in music. So I'll, uh, I'm working on that. That's crazy, dude. I can't yeah. imagine if we made a pen music video. That'd be so funny. So all right, I'm wearing the hat. <laughs> you have to. Never take it off. I'd be disappointed. Uh, Bryce, thank you so much. Right, Give your family our best, and we'll talk soon. Yeah. Right, my man. Yeah, you as well. See ya. All right, brother. See ya. Thank you, guys. That's going to do it for today. Uh, yeah, I really wish we had more time, but Instagram limits us because we have too much fun. So really appreciate you tuning in today. Uh, keep in mind, we are having a full month worth of takeovers. So tomorrow we do have Pelican at 12 p.m. Central Time. If you have any questions at all, please shoot us a direct message and we'll take care of you any way we can. But check out our website. Take advantage of those crazy deals we're doing. Uh, we hope you're staying safe. Keep smiling. Happy holidays. Stay smooth. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Peace.